The 2019 Audi Q8 is the German luxury brand's latest entry into the lucrative luxury SUV market. Pricing was announced today, and you can take home a base Q8 premium for $68,395, including destination charges. That's just over $2,000 more than the top-level Q7. Audi will be offering the Q8 in premium plus trim at $72,395 and prestige trim at $77,545 at launch as well. Calling the Q8 premium trim base is a bit of an oxymoron though. It comes standard with three-zone automatic climate control, leather seats, panoramic sunroof and also, screens galore. You'll get three giant ones ranging from 8.6 inches for the lower LCD to 12.3 inches for Audi's virtual cockpit instrument cluster. LED headlights, adaptive dampers, plus Android Auto and Apple CarPlay also made the cut on the premium trim. The premium plus gets blind spot warning, wireless phone charging, rear collision and cross traffic sensing and a Bang & Olufsen sound system. The Prestige model gets adds a color head-up display in the bank and all of some 3D sound system standard, it's supposed to be even better than the normal bank and all of some system. You'll have to start piling up the options if you're interested in the massive suite of driver assistance features. Those optional driver assistance features include, an advanced adaptive cruise control, 360 degree plus top view camera, intersection assist, monitors traffic when pulling into an intersection and can apply brakes if needed, and traffic sign recognition, will actually read speed limit and right turn on red signs, then give warning. For now, every Q8 will come with the same 3.0-liter turbocharged V6 and 8-speed automatic transmission. It'll also have Audi's 48-volt mild hybrid system and all-wheel drive. Audi says the 335 horsepower and 369 pounds-foot engine will yank the 4,700 pound SUV to 60 miles per hour in 5.6 seconds. It'll go on sale later this year and compete against cars like the BMW X6 and Mercedes-Benz GLE Coupe in that funky segment. If more power is what you're after, wait for the SQ8. It should prove to be ludicrously quick for its size when it comes out next year.